Hey everyone and welcome back to another Tuesday tip where in this video we're going to be talking about what size BMX frame or bike you need based on your height. With that I do have another video talking about all aspects of BMX frame geometry. It's just in that one I don't cover what size frame generally fits a certain height range in a rider. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today with a focus on top tube length. So when we get done with this one head on over to that other frame geometry video to learn what all the other numbers mean and the impact that they can have on the field of your bike. Also with that said, this is not the end all be all of this subject. This is meant to be a starting point for those of you who are just getting into or coming back to BMX or someone who wants to get a new bike or frame but doesn't yet know what size they like or know what size they should get in relation to their height versus top tube length. So we're going to be starting at a rider height of 4 foot 6 inches and a top tube length of 18 inches and moving up from there but later in the video I will be covering rider height shorter than that and bike size smaller than than that so stay tuned or skip ahead if that's what you're looking for so we're gonna be starting at a rider height of four foot six inches to four foot ten inches and the range here is 18 inches to 20 inches flat on top tube length and I got to give a shout out to kink for making these graphics years ago and then I saw them up on BMX Union recently and it gave me the idea to talk about this so if you're new to BMX and you're in that height range that is the frame and bike size that you should be looking for to fit you in a general sense from there, we're going to four foot 10 inches to five foot three inches. And the size there is 19.5 inch top tube length to 20.25 inch top tube length. So before we're talking about an 18 inch bike and a 20 inch bike, here we're talking about 20 inch bicycles because a 19.5 inch top tube length can fit 20 inch wheels. Moving on from there, five foot three inches to five foot six inches. That's where you get into 20 inches flat for top tube length to 20.5 inches for top tube length. And if you're looking for a brand new BMX bike, usually you can find the geometry of the frame at least the top tube length on the website for the company who makes that bike. So be sure to check that out and do your research whenever you're looking into buying a new BMX bike because having the correct top tube size for you can make a big difference when you're learning how to ride, especially in in comparison to having something that is way too short and way too small or having something that is way too long and way too big having the right size bike definitely makes things easier at first. Then from five foot six to five foot nine, the recommended top tube size is 20.5 to 20.75. Moving up from there, five foot nine to six foot, we're looking at 20.6 to 21 inches in top tube length. Then at six foot plus, we're looking at 20.75 and up. So at that 5'11 to six foot and above range, I would generally recommend something like a 21 inch top tube length. And if you ride that and feel you need something that is longer, I would even recommend going above that, especially when you get to like six foot two, three, four, five, and six. That as well as a few riders who like that length are why BMX frames exist that are bigger than 21 inches. And if you're getting closer to seven foot tall, maybe it's worth considering a 22 inch bike or a 24 inch bike, which have bigger tires and generally fit taller people even better. So with that, let's move on to the smaller side of things. To start with the little guys, we've got a height range of two foot two inches to three foot flat, and then a top tube length or bike size recommendation of 12 to 12 and a half inches. And then we've got a three foot three to three foot seven inch height range and a 14 to 14.5 inch recommendation. Then we move into kind of the more familiar territory for BMX because this is where more companies start making complete bikes or complete BMX specific bikes we've got the range of two foot 11 inches to three foot 10 inches kind of a bigger range in a whole foot really and the top tube length here is 16 inches flat to 16 and a half inches so on that note that's everything we have to cover as far as the recommendations go but something i wanted to make sure that i covered here and hopefully most of you are still tuned in for this is that the more and more you ride BMX, the more you're gonna learn, the more tricks you're gonna learn, the more you're gonna develop your style and figure out what you actually like to ride as far as dirt, street, park, maybe you like all of it, maybe you like a certain segment of it, that's all okay because it's all freestyle, but the more you ride and the more you learn, the more you're gonna learn about yourself, and that's where you learn what top tube size you like, as well as the other different aspects of BMX frame geometry that you like on your bike, because they all have an impact, but when you're first learning how to ride, they have less of an impact because you're just learning the basics, you're learning how to control the bike. 
So the most important factor there is having a bike that fits you in size, and hopefully this video helps with that, but also there's other things that you can get for your bike or change on your bike that can have an impact on the way that the bike feels as far as sizing goes. So your stem reach, how far your stem goes from the fork to where your bars clamp can also have an impact on how long your bike feels. So you can effectively simulate a longer top tube with a longer reach stem, but that is going to have other implications and effects on the way your bike feels because a longer stem also has impacts on the steering of your bike. And I do have a video about BMX stem geometry. You can check it out in this corner of the screen and learn all about these different aspects. Then there's also fork offset. A steeper fork offset is going to put your tires closer together, giving you a shorter wheelbase, which is also something that a shorter top tube length will do. In the opposite of that, a mellower fork offset is going to make your wheelbase further apart, simulating a longer top tube. This also has impacts on steering, and I do have a fork geometry video that talks all about that, which you can find in the corner right here. So there's different things that you can do without having to buy a whole new frame to affect the sizing of your bike, but they do have different impacts on the other aspects of how your bike feels, and this stuff can get very complicated. So now that you know all of this, you can go over to the frame geometry video and learn what all of those measurements mean, and you can learn more and more as you're developing your style in riding BMX and figuring out what you like and what's right for you. So with that being said, I hope you guys learned something here. I hope it helps you. Let me know in the comments if it does help you. And hopefully, if you're new here or you haven't yet, you'll hit the subscribe button while you're down there. And we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.